Hey, I'm Gopar and today I'm going to be showing my GTD workflow. GTD stands for Getting Things Done, which is a productivity framework. If you've never heard of it, I highly suggest you pause the video, go Google it, learn what it is. You can learn it in five minutes, come back and watch the video and you'll see how I do it in Emacs. Now, the things that I use is just org mode by itself and org roam, a note taking uh, package on built on top of org mode. Now, the workflow that I'm going to show you is actually my files. So everything in there is things that I have to do. It's not it's not some example fake project. So this is actually real life data that you are seeing from my agenda that how I do it. So every day when I wake up after I do whatever I need to do, I go ahead and boot up my computer and I log into the agenda view in Emacs. So what does that look like? So after I'm greeted by this beautiful dashboard, I do control C. Uh, let me see if I can focus on Emacs. Control C, A, and that pops the agenda buffer. Now, here I have five commands that you probably don't have, which is on the bottom five. So agenda, I'm sorry, with the keys H, W, I, G, and R. Now, all of those are related to GTD, except for the G1, which is related to the 12 week year. 12 week year is another productivity framework that I use as well, but I won't go over it in this video. I'll make a separate video on it. Now, there are there's mainly two views that I use, which is the H agenda and home task and the weekly review one, which is the letter R. Now, the W one was a view that I had that I would only use at work. So I had to come in in person at work. And whenever I popped up for break or I looked at the agenda, I would use the W command because it would be a little more discreet, more privacy focused. It didn't have so many personal details in the agenda view. But now that I'm self-employed, I work, I work at home, I basically don't need that and I don't really use that view. I only left it for the viewers in this video, um, but I'll probably remove it after this video. Anyways, let me show you how, how the normal view that I use every day looks like. So I'm going to press H for agenda and home tasks. And this is how it looks, 100% raw, unedited. This is basically how it goes. So my agenda view is broken into, what is it, four sections. The first section shows me today and tomorrow, so all the entries of today and tomorrow, because those are what I deem most important at the moment. Next is followed up by global list of all to-do items that are either waiting or in progress. So as you can see, I have the Emacs Goodie series, which is on YouTube, and the Pythonic Design series, which is also on YouTube. And I have some things in progress that that are in the Pythonic design pattern. Next, I have a section for all the things that are in inbox. If you're familiar with GTD, they talk about something having about having your inbox. This is basically all the ideas, everything that comes to mind, I jot it down via capture templates in org mode, and then I just store them there for later, for figuring out what to do later, either via the weekly review or when I have a, a break or Pomodoro session break. Finally, the last section is just things that I have to do next. So these are just things to have a mental note. Oh, hey, after in progress, after I finish the things in progress, these are the things I'm going to have to do. So just, you know, something that uh, keep in mind. So, yeah. Uh, let's, is there anything I need to talk about? Oh, yes. Let me show you the capture templates. The capture templates are pretty straightforward. They're nothing fancy. For example, for example I do control C, C. And then it pr prompts me, hey, do you want an inbox? Do you want to create a project, a tickler, or do you want to create a contact file? A project file is just something that needs multiple steps, uh, is the definition of what GTD says. So if you have something like drop off mail, that's just one thing. But if you need to do something like uh, sell books on eBay, so that will be, you know, take pictures of books, post them online, uh, once seller accepts, you know, drop them off shipping, things like that. So that's multiple steps, that's a project. That's to give you an idea. Tickler is just things that you have scheduled already, items that are scheduled already, that are ready to be done at the appropriate time. Either they're scheduled or they have a deadline and they go in the tickler file. Why is it called tickler file? I actually don't know. That's just what the GTD workbook uh, book says. So that's what the name that I chose. So let's do with inbox and there's nothing fancy. It's either just a to-do entry and I have some properties that are auto-populated. So for example, the date that it was added, I just use this for tracking purposes. If I keep scheduling and kicking down something farther and farther along, I can just look at it. It's like, hey, when was this added? It's like, hmm, it's been like three months. I should probably do this now. So that's the main reason why I do it. But I'm gonna cancel because there is nothing that I need to do. 
Okay, so this is the home view. Now, how does the work view? I'm just gonna show you guys for a simple ex uh, explanation. Uh, let's see, control C, A, and then work view. I don't think it's B, a lot of things. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So it just narrows it down to today, and then I have the inbox for things that are need to be, need to be settled with. As you can see, it's very stripped down, not a lot of information. It's very, like I said, discreet, privacy focused. Um, but yeah, I don't use this view anymore because I don't have to go to the office. I just use the home one because I'm at home now and I work from home. So, hey, perks. The next thing that I'm going to showcase is the re weekly review agenda view. So how does that work? Well, control C, A, the agenda view, and then I press R for the review. Now this is going to show everything for the next week so I can have a quick glance and look at it. So Emacs Conf just passed uh, just passed this weekend and I have a few talks right here that I want to look at, just things like that. And then I have the whole week scheduled so I can give it a little glance and figure out and prioritize like, hey, I should do this, I shouldn't do this, you get the gist. And at the bottom is just the rest of every single to do that I have in my org mode directory. Now there's a bunch of stuff in the bottom that has some sensitive info so I'm not going to scroll it but you guys get the gist if I have a bunch of files it just grabs for or looks for anything that has a valid org mode um, to do to do type. So for example all of these as you can see are things that I need to do or I have already scheduled. But this is a pretty quick and easy way of doing it. So usually my workflow is I go over here and at the end of the week I do hey uh, this is what I need to do all the things in the inbox, you know, buy this um, Buy this vitamin submit the PyCon talk buy tickets for this one, you know buy register for this or whatever So these are just things and Emacs GTD, which is a video that I'm recording so I can mark that off and the 12 week year So yeah, this is basically how I do it. So if I were go right here I would say hey, I would do control s control control C control s give it a date and then once I give it a date I'll move it over to a to the tickler file so that I can know what to do so because those are all the items that are already scheduled and ready to be done at the appropriate time go so how do these files look like so if I go to inbox file this is how it looks It's just generic to-do list the things that need to be resolved or dealt with and once I do that they either go into the project file or tickler file okay here is the tickler file as well and we have a few things so as you can see each item has already appropriate scheduling date and I just have to wait until yeah until it arrives and then in the agenda view it will tell me pretty simple now let's jump into the project file so for example projects right here and let me make sure that everything is closed because there are some information in there that I don't want to show now right here I just have an image that shows the talks about the GTD workflow for example you put it in in a box which is the inbox and then you say hey is it actionable is it multiple steps you create a project things like that yada yada like I said I'm not gonna go over it you guys can google it but it's just an image for a quick reference it's like oh hey what are the steps uh, to be honest I've never looked at it but I just have it there all right so if we scroll down to the projects there's a few things that I have to do and I have the org mode markers to tell me how far in completion I am. So out of all of these, I will show the garage work one. So I say, hey, I have a few things. I say, hey, I have to buy fog poison to kill the insects in the garage. So I have a detached garage and the previous owners didn't really take care of it. So it's kind of just deteriorating. So first thing I did was just kill the insects like that. And uh, yeah, it seemed to work. I don't find any insects anymore. Next thing I have to do is clean. I have to call someone to fix the garage. So basically all the steps to get the garage back up and running and then I can finally rent it out. So this is an example of a project because there's multiple steps for to get to a desired uh, outcome, which is to get the garage to work. And this is how I define a project over here. If we look at it, I just say, hey, project, copy this. So I say, hey, project name. And then I have use a org mode package package called org Etna I think and it automatically marks the next item as in progress or to do I forget what it does so well actually it's right here so what am I saying so I'm saying trigger next sibling to markets to do as next and schedule the current copy okay 
that's the quick overview of the GTD. Now, what is else? So we have inbox, we have tickler, we have projects, and then I believe we have archive. So archive is just everything that I say, hey, I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna put it in a drawer that you know I might never look at it. It's kind of the same thing when you archive things in email. You just say, hey, I might need it sometime in the future, but most likely than not, you're not gonna need it. Same concept here. And I am going to open it via a command called file. Oh, find literally because if I open it in org mode it will freeze up especially when I'm recording because uh, I tried to do this earlier and it froze uh, let's see archive oh yeah and there's someday too so someday is just for things that I will do someday and I review those during the weekly review so now let's let me show you archive so if I go over here in archive you can see it is an org mode format file but it is it doesn't have any syntax highlighting or anything like that just because I don't want it to freeze so uh, just things like this that just say hey archive the date added yeah it's nothing fancy it's just things that go there to basically never be looked at again but just in case you want it there it is I don't think I've ever needed to go here actually no I needed something once that was it because I accidentally archived it Next thing I want to talk about is about the knowledge base. So this is where Orgrom comes in. Orgrom is just another way of taking notes in Emacs that is very convenient. I forget what methodology it follows, but it's not important right now. All uh, all that is important is that I use it as my knowledge base and I look at use it to look things up conveniently. So I do Control C and and then F to find it and now I get a prompt to say hey what do you want to find which node do you want let's look at the Emacs goodies so I have an entry just for the Emacs goodies series in YouTube and right here as you can see is I have a bunch of entries either marked as done or that are just waiting to be marked so next are I plan on making a video on artist mode next that's just one of the videos but let's see is there anything else in here no that's pretty much it so yeah there's a bunch of things right here uh, videos that I plan on doing so as you can see the series is gonna be rather long uh, which might be good might be bad I don't know let's see what people like so yeah I just keep a knowledge base right there for everything that I need I'm trying to think if there's something else that I need to show related to GTD but I can't think of anything okay so what can I show you next I can show you guys my configuration for org mode for getting the templates up so let's go ahead and jump into my configuration and here I have a like I said, Control C, A for org agenda, and then I have some configurations. I'm not gonna go each over each and every single one because that would be way too long. I have a lot. I don't even remember what they do most of the time. But yeah, I set it up like seven years ago and then I never looked back. But here are the agenda ones. So here is for the home one. There you go. This is for the work one, for the in progress, goals, and weekly reviews. And then I have a custom little function that adds a little calendar looking thing if it does if that entry doesn't have a schedule and say hey add a schedule it's just a little icon that you probably see when I look up the agenda for example uh, ah, yes there we go artist mode does not have one but it does have the agenda thing uh, right there if you can see it those things like that so yeah, that is a quick overview on how I use GTD in Emacs. I really would like some feedback as to if there's things that you think I'm doing that are highly inefficient or things that you liked or some ideas, what you don't like, things like that, because I would really like to up my game with productivity. Hence, I do things like GTD, the framework, and 12-week year. But yeah, hopefully you learned something. And remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.